this is vlog number two. Um, something I want to talk about in this one is uh, the various stages involved in creating a media project. So the three main stages involved in this process is development, production, and distribution. In the development stage, which is like the preliminary stages of creating the project, it involves really the integration of ideas or creating a base storyline. The production itself though, is the process of creating the project, like making scenes, um, positioning, filming the entire thing, just getting everything together, um, coming to the distribution stage. This involves post-production and within the production stage, actually, there involves uh, pre-production, production itself and post-production. Um, so the post-production is basically the conclusion of everything um, just before it is distributed to a large audience. Um, after filming everything and double checking, making every, sure everything is perfect, the executive producer makes these whatever changes necessary to the film and it is decided by him or her before it is distributed to a large audience or the public. Um, now, the reason why I'm talking about these stages is because they correlate well with um, one of my favorite shows, which is Breaking Bad. And in that show, the development was a very intense process for that show. Uh, Vince Gilligan was the creator of Breaking Bad, um, and his main goal was to create a character in this series that was originally the protagonist and then soon evolves into the antagonist uh, come the end of the, the entire program. The official production location of the program was um, Albuquerque, New Mexico, although the original location was going to be based in California. Um, so the reason why they switched it is because they feel they'd get better shots. Um, in the first season or earlier versions of the program was shot on 35 millimeter uh, film with digital cameras employed for necessary additional angles of the natural landscapes, as Albuquerque had a lot better natural landscapes in the desert region. Um, a lot of point of view shots and time lapse programming or time lapse photography for the cinematic effect because the cinematic effect was everything in that show. The first episodes cost nearly three million dollars per episode. That is per episode to produce, which was a lot higher than average for uh, a cable program because it was originally on TV. And then Netflix had adopted the show come its third season. And when AMC had thought or suggested at least to Sony and to Vince that it was the end of the show, that viewership was going down, nobody was gonna watch it anymore. By the time Netflix had adopted their show, viewership had skyrocketed uh, as Netflix is more available to people. <clears throat> and when they 
first put it on Netflix, um, you know, people s started watching it more, getting more involved with it. <clears throat> um, so yes, AMC had expressed uh, to Sony and Gilligan, they thought season three was going to be the final season of the show. However, because of Netflix adopting the show, viewership increased tremendously. And the fifth season, uh, in fact, it grew more than double in viewership compared to season four. Now, as soon as Netflix made this show a part of their streaming service, it was obviously more available to people. And this is why it became so popular over time. Seeing the, the growth and progression of this show, of a character named Walter White, he went from born as the ordinary, average Mr. Chips and turned into a character like Scarface. And the reason why it's so important to recognize this is because of how much effort was put into the development, the production, as well as the distribution. There were various types of dis distribution with this show, as it was on cable television and now on Netflix, available for streaming. Yeah, it's a very good show. I'm a huge fan of it. Very good storyline, very good character development. It's got everything. Thank you.